Hey guys, Miss Hong here. So I'm going to go over the homework problems. Now, I would strongly suggest that if you want to watch the video through with one problem, then try the next problem on your own and use that pause button. Pause the button, see if you can do as much on your own as possible. If you're like stuck, then try um, watching the video, okay? So, all right, number four was the first on our homework tonight. And for some of you, we've done it and some of you we haven't. Since these are numbers, and it, this says here just to find the measure of each angle indicated, then um, this should be pretty simple. So um, maybe you have a calculator, but here, since the three interior angles are supposed to add up to be 180, and they give us two already, I'm going to go ahead and add those, find out what their sum is. 85 plus 35, so five, and you can use a calculator, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this is um, 120. So then we're going to, since those are the two angles, to find the third angle you're going to take 180, which is what they add up to be, subtract the 120, the sum of these two angles to find the third angle. And th in this case it's 60 degrees. Okay, all right, so that's that. Now number six. Some of us did get to number six in that class. Okay, so let's see how we do this one. So this one says solve for x. When you see that, you most likely will need to set up an equation, okay, like we did in number five. Okay, so let's say for number six, okay, you're like, hmm, well, what am I going to do to set up an equation? I know, this is a triangle, so let's use a triangle sum theorem. The triangle sum theorem says um, the three angles, interior angles of any triangle, um, is going to add up to be 180. The sum of them is 180. So we're going to use that by drawing our blanks. So blank plus blank plus blank equals 180. Okay. So draw my line. Now you need an angle in each one of these. So one of my angles is 90 because that's what the box means. So 90 plus 60 plus and then 30x. Now this is where we use our equation skills from last unit. Circle, circle, box, circle. On this side we can go ahead and like, uh, the fastest thing to do here is go ahead and combine like terms. That's 150 plus 30x equals 180. Circle, box, circle. Now, these can't be on the same side. The question is which one should I subtract or add? Well, on the other side, there's a constant, so I'm going to move this constant to join it with that constant. So inverse operation, you subtract, and then 30x equals 180 minus 150, or add a negative 150 is positive 30. And then we're not done yet because the x needs to be alone. There's invisibly multiplication. Divide by 30, divide by 30. x is 30 divided by 30 is 1 which means if you put the 1 here, that's invisibly 30 times x, which is the same as 30 times 1. And what this is saying is that the x has to be 1 if this is going to add up to be 180. So um, 30 times 1 is just 30, which is the measure of this angle. Now if you add, if you want to check, 30 plus 60 plus 90 should be 180. If it's not, something went wrong here. But it actually does add up to be 180, so we can check that way and see that we're correct. The next one is number eight. So let's go to number eight. We've got three angles. We've got to solve for x to find out what x will make this true. So we're going to do blank plus blank plus blank equals 180. So once again, we have another 90. Hmm, interesting, right? 90 degrees plus 40 degrees. And remember, you can put these in, in any order negative 10 plus 5x, that's the third angle. So circle, that's a constant, constant, this is a constant, this is a variable, and then constant. So I've got one, two, three constants here, so let's add all of those up. That'll shorten this equation pretty significantly. So 90 plus 40, is 130. And again, right here, you should pause the video and see if you can do this on your own, because from here, you should be able to do it. All right? So if you paused it, you would pause now. I'm just going to keep going. Oops. 
I just added those two, but let me go ahead and subtract that. So that will be 130 minus 10, which is 120. So I'm going to, oops. Okay, that's not working out great. Okay, so um, that's going to be 120. Yet. Okay, so 120, and then plus 5x equals 180, circle, box, circle, subtract, 5x equals 180 minus 120 is 60, divide, divide, x is 12. What does that mean? Okay, so if I put that there, okay, it's a one solution. Let's see what this, let's check this out. So this expression here is negative 10 plus 5 times 12. That's our x. So then we get negative 10 plus, PEMDAS says do multiplication here before we add them. So 5 times 12 is 60. Different signs of track, so this is 60 minus 10. Keep the sign larger, that's 50. So that means this angle here is 50 degrees, okay? Well, 50 plus 40 plus 90 better add up to be 180. So 50 plus 40 is 90, plus another 90 is 180, so 12 is the solution. Again, um, I would advise right now that you pause the video and try number 12 completely on your own. Okay, so did you pause the video? You should and try it on your own and then anytime you can just pause 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 after every step if you want to check so okay so we got an x plus 52 no not 12 I'm sorry we're doing number 16 I apologize okay let's go to number 16 okay number 16 blank plus blank, I apologize about that, plus blank equals 180. Remember, the reason we have three blanks is because there are three angles. All right, so I'll put 11x minus 5 first, 9x minus 3, add a 48. So this gets a box, circle, box, circle, circle, circle. Okay, wow, we've got lots of like terms on this side. So these go together, and then these go together. Okay, so 11x plus a 9x is actually 20x, and I'm going to scoot it over here, because this, this thing is about to combine and become pretty short, and that's what we like. So this is negative 5 plus negative 3 plus a 48. Well, negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8, plus a 48 is just a positive 40. See how short that became because of all those like terms? We combined so, so quickly. That's the shortest way to go. Now here, I have a variable on this side. On this side, I have a constant, and there's a constant here. So let's move this constant away to join it with that one. So inverse operation. We get 20x equals 140, and then divide by 20. We should get x equals 7, and we've solved for x. If this is a one solution. 7 should go here and here to figure out what the angles are. So this one's already done. That's a 48 degree angle. Now if you take 7 and multiply it by 11 and then subtract 5, okay? So the 7 is plugged in here. It gets multiplied and then subtracted. So multiplication has to happen before subtraction. 11 times 7 is 77, minus 5 is a 72. So this angle is 72 degrees. This angle is 48, this angle is 72. Let's see how many degrees this one is. So 9 times the same value of x, 7, minus 3. So multiply first, that's 63, and then subtract 3, that's 60 degrees. So <coughs> 60 degree angle plus 72 degree angle plus 48 should be 180. Well, let's see if that's true. I'm just going to do this by hand. Those are the three angles. So I add them up. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 0 is 10. J to 1, 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is, hey, they do add up to be 180. So going back, this is the solution. X has to equal 7 in order for this, uh, the triangle to add up to be 180.